Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about variables in Snowman 1.3. Snowman does not come with built-in macros. This is different than other built-in story formats a part of Twine 2.3. It has no built-in functionality. However, it provides access to a number of different frameworks that give us the ability to write our own functionality. So instead of offering built-in macros, it offers direct access to JavaScript, which means we can use JavaScript directly. And we can do it via underscores template system. Snowman comes with underscore, which is a JavaScript library that allows us to use its template system, which means we can write arbitrary JavaScript code and use it using the template system. It'll make a little more sense when we look at the code, but it's good to keep that in mind. So we have access to underscore along with the built-in jQuery that's part of other story formats as well. Because each passage is its own JavaScript scope, that is when we run a script tag or we want run arbitrary code within the underscores template system, it creates its own JavaScript scope. The basics we need to know then is that these scopes don't talk to each other. So whenever we're running code, it's running in its own little sandbox within that passage. So in order to get around this problem, Snowman also provides a single global variable s that can be used to create and update values across passages. So we can use this or other global variables that extend outside of the local scope of any one passage, and we can create different values, access JavaScript, and save things, and then use those across different passages as if they were story variables and other story formats like Harlow and Sugarcube. So let's look at the code for this. So as I mentioned, we have access to underscores template system, and here's an example of that right here. Notice it's less than, percentage, percentage, greater than. So it has a tagging system right here, opening and closing. Within that is any JavaScript we want to run, and we can run any arbitrary JavaScript we want. In this case, though, I'm showing three examples of using the S global variable, as well as an example number, an example array, and example object. And we could do anything JavaScript can do right within this space right here, and arbitrarily save this. So we have access to JavaScript within underscores template system, and we create any variables we want and any pattern we want of any type we want. So it actually frees us up to do a whole lot of things. So in this video, I've covered the very basics of using variables within Snowman. That is, we're using JavaScript variables within Snowman. Again, Snowman comes with no built-in macros, but allows us a great degree of freedom of working with different things. And when paired with underscores template system, allows us to embed code directly into passages and do stuff. We can also do a lot of other things like interpolation, which I'll cover in another video. That becomes part of underscores template system that allows us to mimic functionality of other macros and other story formats, but also gives us the full access of JavaScript underneath that and allows us to expand to write our own things. Thanks for watching.